trust in Jesus. Oh, I've learned to trust in God. Yes, Lord, through it all, through it all. Oh, I've learned to depend upon His word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless, Bless your, your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your wonderful name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Through it all, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I am so blessed. For us to come together once more, mm -hmm. what God is doing, what He continues to do, mm -hmm. Amen. for His leading and guidance, He bringing us into this new year. Amen. Uh, we see in twenty one. Can you believe it? Be ready on the seventeenth day of twenty one. Amen. Yeah. This month is almost over. This month is almost over. Right, so we want to give God all the praise, all the praise, for all the glory, amen, all the honor, amen. Right, we want to give God all His glory, all His yeah. praise, praise the Lord, his Hallelujah. Yeah. We want to thank God for this day that He's given to us, Amen. The amen. privilege that He's given to us, mm -hmm. uh, what He's doing for us. Yep. Yeah. I want you to going to jump right into this second chronicles 2020 praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, I'm 20, praise yes, your name, second chronicles jesus. 2020 praise your name jesus okay. hallelujah oh glory 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 yes Jesus. Yeah, we want to get some encouragement this morning, especially with the beautiful song that we sung here. Yeah, you could go ahead and put the encouragement. The encouragement, okay. the encouragement is what the song said in that chorus. The encouragement is when we learn to trust in Jesus. Amen. When we learn to trust in God, mm -hmm. when we learn to depend on his word. Amen. Yeah, that encouraged. Amen. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something else, why we need to be doing this. Mm -hmm. It's not just something God suggested that we do, but it, it's something that he's command that we need to do. As a child of God, we are command to trust in Jesus. We are command to trust in God. We are command to depend on his word. Amen. Anything else, you're doing it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You just in excluded the Lord out. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Let's turn there. Somebody be so kind. Read it for me. It? Second Chronicles 2020. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Twenty twenty. If everybody there say amen. Amen. Praise. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tikal. Tikal. Mm -hmm. And as they went out, um, Jehoshaphat so stood and said. Hear me, O Judah, mm -hmm. and your inheritance of um, inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. You see that right there? It's not a, it's not a suggestion, but it's a command. God is speaking, using the mouthpiece of this king mm -hmm. to let them know what they need to do. Right, they facing a big army that's coming to destroy them. Mm. Uh -huh. 
right? A, a multitude of people coming to destroy them. Amen. Right? But he says, through the, uh, uh, to the spirit of God, he says, believe in your Lord. If you believe in God, obviously you're believing in his son too. That's right. Right? Yeah. If you and you know without faith, it's impossible to believe him. Mm -hmm. But we know we not we don't want to just stay in that uh, um, spot where we just believe in. But he said, "You shall be established." In order for us to be established, we need to be trusting in God. We need to be having a relationship with Him. Amen. That's what's going to set us apart from everybody else. Praise the Lord. When we have a relationship with Him, mm -hmm. that's how we're going to be established. That establishment is my relationship with God. Amen. It has to be established. It has to be built on that rock, that solid rock. Hallelujah. Mm, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It has to be built on that solid rock. Yeah. Right? Uh, let me find this verse right here. Uh, but let's finish this off right here. Go ahead. Mm, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe his prophets and you shall, what it says, you shall prosper. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants us to prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In 21, the Lord wants us to prosper. That's right. The Lord wants us to prosper in 21. Uh, God want us to be better than what we had in 2020, right? God, in 21, God is, wants to do things better. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be better. Amen. Right? He wants us to be able to, 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 to go to a next level with him. Right? God is looking just like we have a... Uh, 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 we have big expectation for God for this year, right? God has big expectation for us too, mm -hmm. uh -huh. right? Just going to, I'm just going according to the song right here, right? God has big expectation for us right now, right? And he said, and he said right here, um, he said, believe in the Lord and you shall be stabbed. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Amen. Right? Uh, uh, we, uh, the word of God, uh, faith comes by hearing the word of God. How are you going to hear the word of God? God has to use uh, the ministry, right? Someone that's anointed to speak the word of God to you, for you to hear the word of God. Mm. Uh, hallelujah. And that's how you're going to be able to depend on his word. When you hear that word and you believe, you have faith, you take mm. God as his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, you shall prosper. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Yeah. You shall prosper. Hallelujah. Let me develop this some more. I, I, I feel like I'm in, a, I got into a, a notion right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Luke chapter six. It's so, so much right there. What he says there in second Chronicles 10. Luke chapter six, verse 46. Oh boy, I feel I feel I feel fired up this morning. Luke chapter six. Luke chapter six forty-six. Yeah, so we we still in, in, in that um leaving in his prophets and you shall prosper, right? But you have to hear the word of God, right? You have to hear the word of God, right? You have to hear the word of God for you to be able. To to uh, to prosper, amen. Right, you have to believe in on it, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be able to. You have to depend on it, mm -hmm. right? And here we go. And, and here we go. Uh, um, but why do you call me Lord and not do the things what I say? My Lord, if you hearing the word of God and you have faith in the word of God, why are you not depending on the word of God? Yeah. If you want to prosper in 21, we need to depend on the word of God. Amen. James say not just be a hearer, but a doer uh -huh. of the words. He say, don't call me Lord, Lord, giving me a, a, a lip service. Mm. God not wanting us to give him lace service. God knows our hearts. Yeah. 
He knows the intent of the heart, right? You can fool everybody else, but you can't fool God. Come on now. Yeah. Right? He knows if you trust in him. He knows if you trust in his son. He knows if you're dependent on his words, right? He said, don't call me Lord, Lord, and not do my words. Hallelujah. And he said in verse 47, whosoever comes to me, right? We need to come to the Lord. And here's my saying in Deuteronomy, I will show you whom he's like. Mm. Verse 48, he's like a man building a house who digs deep. We want to dig deep, yeah. right? We want the word of God to be uh, 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 planted deep within us. Hallelujah. When the storms come, I'm not going to be shaken. I'm not going to be worried. I'm not going to be frightful because the word of God is dig deep within me. Hallelujah. Amen. It's yeah. dig deep on me. I'm like that palm tree, right? Every other tree will, will break, but that palm tree, no matter how strong that wind, that palm tree will just move with the same direction that, that wind is moving because it has deep roots, uh -huh. right? Its roots is deep. Mm -hmm. Our roots have to be uh, planted deep in the word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right? He said, who dig deep and lay the foundation on the rock. Right? Yeah. Who digs deep? Jesus. God is not going to be yeah. digging deep. We don't want to have to dig deep. Mm -hmm. Right? We have to be fully convinced. If you want to depend on the word, you have to be fully convinced. What God said, that is it. Mm -hmm. There is no, no nay or, or anything else. What God says, that is it. Right. right, he said, Who digs deep? We have to be digging deep into the word of God, amen. Right, into the word of God and, and lay on that foundation. That rock is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. Mm. Hallelujah. When you dig deep, when you root it, you're going to find that truth, right? When you find that truth, you're not going to be able to waver. He says, Uh, uh the truth. Uh, has set them free, right? When you find that truth, it's going to set you free from your fears. Amen. It's going to set you free from your doubts. Mm -hmm. when, that, uh, when you have the word of God is dig deep in, uh, inside of you, you're not going to, it's going to affect your attitude. It's going to, it's going to affect the way you deal with people. When you have the word of God dig deep within you, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You laid on that foundation, yes, right? Jesus. You're not, you're not going to be, you're not going to be moved. Hallelujah, yeah. by the things of this world, but you yes, have to God. dig deep. Yeah. God is not going to do it. You the one who has to be rooted. Dig Amen. deep into the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and how are you going to know if you have dig deep? And he said, and when the flood arose, hallelujah. Amen. When Corona 19 came, were you acting like everybody else? Right? It's going to be an indication to let you know, did I dig deep in the word of God? I know what God says, and I hear what the news media is telling me, right? Am I digging deep? Have I dig deep, hmm. right? When the storm, I'm going to tell you something. When a hurricane coming, you see everybody is doing preparation. I've never seen anybody do preparation when the, when the hurricane arrives. That's that. That's foolish. Hmm. When the hurricane arrived, that's when you start doing preparation. Uh, uh Way before the hurricane arrives, before the storm comes, you boarding up your windows. Come yeah. on now. Amen. You getting all the supplies in your house. You going to the store. You getting all the supplies. You don't. It doesn't matter how long that storm is going to uh, um, last. You got everything ready there. Yeah. Right? You got everything. You got your flashlight. You got your uh, uh, battery uh, powered um, radio. Some got battery powered TV. Anybody hear what I'm saying right yeah. here? Or am I just talking to myself? Yeah. Right? You prepare yourself when you hear a hurricane coming. Mm -hmm. You hear the warning, right? You hear the warning, right? Uh, those who God is using, they speak in the word of God to you to give you the warning what's coming on this earth, mm -hmm. right? That you have to prepare yourself, 
You have to dig deep into the word of God. Amen. You have to know where you stand. You mm -hmm. cannot be like everybody else. I'm standing on the solid rock of Jesus Praise Christ. I'm gonna I'm depending on his words. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. I feel fired up. Amen. Right here. Right when the flood rose, I'm not gonna be afraid. Mm -hmm. Whatever circumstances that flood could be of sickness, right? I'm not gonna be afraid. Come on now, you're not gonna hear me right now, right? That flood could be whatever that you had no control of. Come on now, mm -hmm. anything that that flood is anything that you do not have no control of. That flood could be me losing my job. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Boy, y'all not hear yeah. me here. Y'all not hear me here. Right, yeah. that can uh, that flood can be something you have no control of, of it. Yeah. but I'm not gonna be afraid if God be for me, who oh. can be against me? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank My help Lord. comes from the Lord, which makes the heaven of the earth. Hallelujah! Yes. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah! Praise right. the hallelujah, Lord. hallelujah. When that flood arrives, will you be reciting Psalms 23? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I'm not uh, the just to live by faith, not by sight. Right. Boy, I'm yes. getting excited right yes. now. Hallelujah. I'm not looking out of my uh, outer circumstance. Mm -hmm. This is not what I'm looking at. Hallelujah, Praise hallelujah. This is not what I'm looking at. Hallelujah. When that flood arrives, I'm not going to be afraid. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That flood is something that I have no control over. Come on. Now. Mm -hmm. Anybody hearing me today? Yeah. Right? He said, when that flood arrives, I don't know when that flood is going to arrive. It might be tomorrow. It might be tonight. I don't know. But that's not my business. Mm -hmm. Because I dig deep. I laid on the foundation on the word of God. I'm depending on Jesus. I'm that's depending right. on God. And then I'm depending on his word. Amen. Come on now. Y'all not Amen. hearing me right there. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Anybody with me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Amen. Anybody here with me? Amen. Am I talking to myself? Oh, no, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. That flood arise, I have no control over it. Yeah. That flood arising, being a rose. I don't know where it's coming from. It might come from my family. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. It might come from my friends. It might be coming from my enemies, but we don't know when that flood is going to arise. It doesn't tell us when that flood is going to arise, but we are prepared. It's like we prepare for the storm. We ready. We don't know how long that storm is going to last, but we prepare. We got everything in the house. We got our house boarded up. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and Noah's ark, he told them, you need to pitch within and you need to pitch without. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Praise the Lord. They had to do that before the flood came. Well, you're not hearing yeah. me, right? Yeah. God told Noah, you pitch within and you pitch without. They had to do it before God unleashed the rains on the uh, on the earth. Come on now. You're not hearing me right here. Amen. Right? Yeah. They had to do it. Noah had to do the preparation. He had to get the animals inside. He had to get all the food inside. Noah didn't have no time when the flood come in to go be doing all of that. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Everything had to be ready in that in that ark. Yeah. When Noah, uh, and then God shut the door. Come on now. God shut the door. Yeah. My goodness. Right, God, that door is the hedge of protection. God gonna put around you. God has around us. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you don't have to turn the book. Uh, um, uh, Psalms 121, 125, one and two. You can write that down uh, just to, to make sure uh, what I'm saying, I'm confirming it. Psalms 125, one and two. You don't have to turn that, just write it down and, and put it in your treasure box. When you get discouraged, when that flood arrives, 
Mm -hmm. Psalms 125, verse 1 and 2, is going to let you know that God surrounds his people. God is protecting his people. God know how to watch over his people. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm losing breath. Sister West, can you read the rest? I can't. Uh, I'm losing my breath. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the flood arise. What it says after the flood, the flood arise? The flood arose. Let me get some more. The stream um, beat um, vigently uh -huh. against that house. When that storm arrives, it's not. Come on now. When the storm, when the hurricane comes, the it's called a hurricane because it has strong winds. And depending on the, 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 the strength of the wind, that's when they're going to categorize what type of hurricane you're dealing with. Come on now. Right? And they say it's going to beat violently when the storm comes. It comes to beat violently. cause you to shake. It calls you to tremble. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on, it calls you to, to, uh, 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 um, to, to, to lose faith. It, it wants to cause you to doubt, right? When that storm comes, right? Peter was doing so good coming out of that boat. He did so well. He said, Lord, if it be you, allow me to come out of that boat. He did so well. The same way we be doing so well, we go into church, we reading our Bibles, we singing our praise songs, we worship. But soon as the storm comes with a strong wind, oh, we forget everything. Hallelujah. We forget that God is good. Mm. Anybody hear me right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We forget when sickness comes, we forget that God is the healer. We forget that God is the deliverer. We forget yeah. Jehovah Jireh. We forget Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. Boy, y'all not hear me right. When I have no money in my pockets, I forget that God is the provider. I forget Amen. this. I think it's me. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. I think I'm supplying all my needs. Come yeah. on now. Come on. Right? When that when it beats violently against that house, that house is you. Mm -hmm. Right? It's going to test your faith. Jesus. When the enemy comes, he comes like a roaring lion. Oh, He's going to test your faith. Do you really depend on the word of God? Are you really trusting in Jesus? Are you really trusting in God? Mm. It's going to, he's going to test your faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? He's going to make sure, are you really have laid a foundation on that rock that's Jesus Christ? Have you really laid a foundation? Did you really dig deep? Are your roots really dig deep? Mm -hmm. Are you like that palm tree or are you just like that apple tree? Come on. Mm -hmm. Anybody here with me? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? When that storm comes, it comes to beat violently against that house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? It comes to uh, uh, cause you to doubt. COVID 19 came to cause you to doubt if there is a God. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people upset with God right now. I'm not talking about people in the world. I'm talking about people in church. Why did you let this come, oh Lord? That's right. Well, mm -hmm. any of you hear what I'm saying right here? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. A lot of people acting foolishly when they should be already in preparation. They should all have already laid that foundation on that rock. My Lord. Right? When that wind comes, they upset mm -hmm. with God, right? Like God ever said that everything is going to go well when you serve him. That's a lie. We already knew. There's another verse I want you to put in your treasure box. Mm -hmm. John 16, 33. John 16, verse 33. He said, I told you in this world, you're going to have many tribulations. Yeah. yeah. All kind of problems going to come against you. Oh, Lord. Right? He never said that the, the wind is not to come to be finally against you, to shake you at your core. He never said that. Mm -hmm. But you need to know where you stand. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on that solid rock. Yeah. Everybody there with me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it said it could not shake it. Can everybody say that? It can. It could, it could not, not shake it. it. Put your name there. It could not shake. It could not shake Paula. Hallelujah. Put your name right there. It could not shake. Yes. 
COVID-19 could not shake. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2020 could not shake. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come on. Now. Mm -hmm. yes. Sickness could not shake. Yes. Death yes. could not shake. Amen. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Losing the job could not shake. Yes. Anybody here with me? Amen. Right. Amen. It could not shake my faith in God, my de dependency on him, my trust in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still dependent on the word of God. Are you still dependent on the word of God in 21? Mm. Woo. Mm -hmm. It could not shake me mm. for it, it was founded on the rock. That's why yes. it could not shake us because we had dig deep. We was founded on that rock. That rock is Jesus Christ, our savior, mm -hmm. the anchor of our faith. Come on now. Amen. Yes. Now, anybody hearing me here? Yeah. Amen. Verse 49. But he who heard and did not, did nothing like a man who built on a house on the earth without foundation. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Right? He heard the word. This person is the same. He heard the word, but he did nothing. He did no preparation. He know, he heard that the storms was coming. He was warned, but he did no preparation. He did not build his house on without foundation but he built his house on the earth is on himself on his own abilities mm. on his own knowledge mm -hmm. anybody here with me mm -hmm. i don't want to build a word of i don't want to build on my own intellect my own abilities mm -hmm. i don't want to build on how much money I have in my bank account. You better be careful with that, right? We don't want to build a house on earth, on the things of this earth, because the Bible tells the things of this earth is temporary. Yeah. But the things that we do not see is everlasting. That's right. Right? And without foundation. Jesus Christ is our foundation, our yeah. sure foundation Amen. that cannot be moved. Right? Against which the same thing happened to this person. The wind beat violently, but immediately, right? This person was able, was they, they fall. The ruin of the house was great. My goodness. The ruin of the house was great. Mm -hmm. That means they lost, they lost uh, uh, um, natural things, mm -hmm. they lost spiritual things, mm -hmm. and they lost their own soul. Yeah. Right? The fall of the house was great because they had a great loss. They had a great loss, right? They lost everything, right? And everything, and then and everybody. Mm -hmm. One thing, listen very carefully what I'm saying right here. Don't be going around saying that you're a child of God. And when the storm comes, mm -hmm. you acting like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Right? God is going to expose you. Mm -hmm. right? God is going to expose you. Right? Those who trust in the Lord, those who depend on the Lord will not be ashamed. What do you think going to happen to somebody that doesn't depend on the Lord, that doesn't trust in the Lord? They will be ashamed. You will be ashamed. Mm. Right? If yeah. you got Jesus, make sure you got Jesus. Yeah. Make sure you're dependent on him. Make sure you're dependent on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Make sure you truly are dependent on his words. When the storm comes, it's going to try you. Everybody around you that you kept telling that, I am a believer. They're going to be looking at to see. That's right. Right? Right? They're going to be watching you. And be careful. You don't have a great fall in front of everybody. You're going to be put to shame. Right? You could fool everybody else, but you can't fool God. When that time comes, 
that a storm coming to test you, mm -hmm. to test your faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand? Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. I mean, y'all not hearing yeah. what I'm saying right here. Amen. Y'all not hearing me what I'm saying right here. I don't, it doesn't matter what the doctors say. The doctor does not have the last word. That's right. I could be in a hospital bed. The doctor doesn't have the last word. I could be in a prison house. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remind me of the, uh, the story of Joseph, everywhere Joseph went, it kept saying that throughout that uh, his story, that God was with him. That's right. That's right. It's not the circumstance mm -hmm. that's important. Paul and Silas, they were in the prison. Paul and Silas was in prison. They finished beat them. They put them in prison. But they still was dependent on Jesus. They still were dependent on God. They were still trust dependent on his word. They were the delivered. the yes. circumstances don't dictate. <laughs> My dependency on the Lord, my circumstances. If God allow it to come my way, he's going to allow me to get through it. Praise come on, y'all, hear me right Woo! here. Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, that's a promise from God. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Come yeah. on now. Amen. That's a promise for God. And the Bible said that God cannot lie. Mm -mm. God, what seems impossible with man is possible with God. Y'all not right. hear me right now. That's right. No matter how big my mountain, he say, if you speak to that mountain, that mountain, that situation, it won't last. Mm -mm. It won't stay. Come on now. Amen. Anybody hear what I'm yeah. saying? Amen. And I'm going to give you the, uh, 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 I want to give you the third piece of this why we need to depend on Jesus. Hmm. We need to depend on God. We need to depend on his words. I hope you're ready for this. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exodus chapter 14, verse 25. Chapter 14, verse 25. Please write these verses down. Please write these verses down. I want to show you this. Chapter 4. Chapter 14, verse 25. Praise the okay, Lord. Okay. Hallelujah. Can somebody be so kind if you dare say amen. And somebody be so kind to read Praise that for me. Can you repeat it again? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 25. Yes, verse 25. And he took off their chariot wheels so that they drove them with difficulty. Mm -hmm. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Anybody else hearing that way I hear? Mm -hmm. It's the reason why it's so important for us to depend on Jesus, to depend on the word. We allow God to fight our battles for us. Y'all mm -hmm. not hearing me right here. Mm -hmm. When I'm able to depend on Jesus and depend on God and depend on the word, I give God permission to fight my battles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. I want to give God permission to fight my battles. Mm -hmm. God not going to get into involving anything that I'm trying to put my hands into it. If God see you trying to solve it your own, you think you got this fight, why would he want to fight that battle for you if you already got it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Say that again. Once you take yourself <laughs> out of the way, you uh -huh. give God permission. Oh, come on, Ooh. come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. I give God permission. Please, Lord, come fight my battle. Mm -hmm. He said, even your enemy going to recognize when God stepped in, even your enemy's going to recognize. When the three Hebrew boys were put in the fire, that ferny furnace, the king himself testified. I thought we only put three in there. What is going on? Hmm. I see a fourth man in there. Hallelujah. Amen. He looks like an angel of God. Yeah. Anybody hear what I'm saying here today? Hallelujah. Anybody hear what I'm saying here today? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 30. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Boy, I hope y'all getting excited over it right here. Praise the Lord. God don't tell you to do something for no reason. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 30. Let's look at this. Mm. I'm trying to drive this home for you to see this. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 29. Start on verse 29. Verse 29. Come on, listen to this. Yes. Sister Linda, you here with us? Yes, sir. I'm here. Hallelujah. Come on now. <laughs> uh, verse 29. Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. Stop that right there. This is what it says, Sister Linda. Yes. What does it say, Sister dread, Linda? Dread not, neither we be We do not have them. to dread any enemy. Mm-hmm. Whatever scheme, whatever trick, whatever thing they try to do, do not dread, do not be terrified by it. Praise the Lord. Come on. Come on. And, and what else it says, Sister Linda? Verse 30. Verse 30. You no, know, finish, finish. Verse, uh, verse, uh, verse 29. It says, do not be terrified. Dread not, neither be afraid of them. Why Why in the world? See, that's why I tell y'all, do not be rushing these things right here. It said two different things. I yeah. thought when somebody's terrified, that also means they're afraid. What's yeah. going on? Come on right now. Somebody help me right here. Help me <laughs> preach this. Amen. Why in the world did it say do not be a terrified. And then it says, do not be afraid. Why? Be afraid of mm-hmm. it. said first it said terrified, Sister Linda. Then it said afraid. I mm-hmm. thought they supposed to be the same thing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, we rush. Come on, let's look this Amen. up. Terrified. What does terrified be? I don't Praise like rushing. Lord. I want to. Why would he write it like that? Mm-hmm. Not be terrified. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy, y'all getting me, boy, y'all getting me fired up. Sister, Minister Richardson, you there with me? Amen. Amen. He said two things there. Why in the world were you said terrified and afraid? I thought it was the same thing. Hmm. Terror. Terrified. Pause to feel extreme fear. Woo! What? Everybody get that definition? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Richardson. <laughs> It's a cause to feel extreme fear. You there? You hear that, Minister Richardson? Yeah, you said it. I was just feel fear. Yes, extreme fear. Uh, what the only thing that we should be afraid of, what the Bible says, the only thing that we should be afraid of. Anybody here with me? Y'all help me preach this. Mm-hmm. Fear God. I didn't hear you. God. Fear God. The only thing on this earth, Minister Richardson, that we should be afraid of mm-hmm. is God. I can hear you. Amen. No matter what Minister Richardson it, Come on now. The Bible said that's the only thing we should be afraid of. It don't matter what Minister Richardson's saying. Don't be afraid of Minister Richardson. Come on now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. Amen. No matter what, 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 uh, 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 sister, uh, sister Linda saying, don't be afraid of Sister Linda, but you need to be afraid of God. Mm-hmm. The one that got all power. I don't hear you. The one that got all power. The Amen. one that has all, all the power. power. Amen. Oh, before I finish this, boy, this is getting good. Minister Richard, I don't know why you said that. Now you got to make me go to that. First Peter chapter five, verse eleven. Don't turn there. Put that put that in your treasure box. First, First Peter down, chapter five, verse eleven. Yes, I got to confirm what Minister Richardson said. Amen. All power belongs belong to, to the Lord. Yeah. When I am terrified of my circumstances. Mm-hmm. my situation mm-hmm. or am I when I'm terrified of someone mm-hmm. or some people a group or anything I'm giving power to them That's right. well y'all not hear me what That's I'm saying right. right here when I'm terrified of the sickness mm-hmm. 
-hmm. of the disease. Mm -hmm. I'm giving power to it. Y'all mm -hmm. not hearing what I'm saying right here. Ah, Lord. Yeah. All power. I'm telling you, put that in your treasure box. All power belongs to God. Yeah. It said, do not be terrified. That means, what's that definition, Sister, Sister West? That's a feeling of extreme fear. We should not have no extreme fear of anything or anybody on earth. Only mm. God. Only that fear reserves to God. Mm. Y'all hearing me? Amen. Mm. Yeah, hopefully y'all wrote that definition. To be terrified means to be extremely afraid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got afraid. Yeah. Extremely afraid. Not just afraid. You are extremely afraid. Yeah. You sh you can't move. <laughs> <laughs> You're speechless. You can't lift up your hands anymore. <laughs> you paralyzed. My Lord, That's paralyzed. what it means to be extremely afraid. It means for you to be paralyzed. You unmobile. Come on, boy. Y'all not hearing me right here. Can't lift I can't knees. call on the name of Jesus because I'm, I'm paralyzed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anybody here with me? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Now it says, what's the other part? Afraid. afraid or afraid of them. Let's look that up. Sister Linda, let's look that up. Why would he put that in there for? Afraid. What does afraid mean? <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Afraid. Amen. I'll look it up. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Afraid means feeling fear or anxiety, frightened. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. It's it, it's it's a feeling. A feeling. There we go right there. Thank you, Sister uh, Linda. It's uh, a feeling yeah. that we should should not have towards anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Once you allow that feeling, it's gonna mess up your spirit. It's gonna mess up your praise. Feeling. It's gonna mess up your worship. Mm -hmm. wow. It's gonna mess up your reading of your Bible. Because this feeling, mm -hmm. when it comes on you, it makes you feel so sick on the inside. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Anybody hear what I'm saying here? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. I didn't read it. Minister, uh, um, Sister Linda read it. It's a feeling mm -hmm. that comes over you. Right, Sister Linda? Did I make it up? Amen. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a feeling that comes over you. It makes you so sick. Uh -huh. Right? Amen. Mm -hmm. Right? We see the two difference. Yes. Yeah. Terrified is extreme fear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Afraid is a, a, a feeling. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Or I can go further on to say that feeling is also connected with a spirit that I don't want. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I saw yeah. that right there. Yeah, yeah. It's a spirit that I don't want yeah. to deal with. And also says here, so um, similar says, worry that something undesirable will occur or be done. Come on now. Mm -hmm. If God be for me, who shall be against me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? If yeah. God be for me, who shall be against me? Is the Bible lying to me? No. Or am I trust depending on Jesus? Am I dependent on God? Or am I dependent on his words? Or is it just lip service? Mm. Right? Yeah. Is it just lip service? Mm -hmm. Come on. We want to know. We need to know. Is it just lip service? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. verse 30. Come on. Go verse, ahead, Sister Linda. Continue to read. Verse, this, this, I love this right here. Verse 30. Uh -huh. The Lord, the Lord your God, which goeth before you. I didn't hear that. The Lord your God, what he's going to do, Sister Linda? Before you. He's going to go before you, before the situation even takes place. Mm -hmm. God already went before you. What do you think? When he goes before you, what do you think he's doing? Fighting, preparing. He are already making a way for you. 
Yes. Right? He goes before you. He's already prepared a way, a escape for you. Yes, amen. He already made a way of escape for you. Mm -hmm. The Lord has already made a way of escape for you. Praise the Lord. That's why he goes before you. He already knows how to solve your problem, how to solve your situation. You don't see it, but he already sees. He sees the beginning from the end. He Amen. already knows That's right. what's at the end of the light of the tunnel, in the, end of, in the end of the tunnel. He yes. already knows. That's why he said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Where that joy come in? It comes from the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yeah, that's right. But I got to stay focused on him. Mm -hmm. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. Amen. He goes before you. What he says he's going to do after he goes before you. Amen. He he shall fight for you. Here we go again, Sister, Sister Linda. He will fight for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, y'all not hearing yeah. me right here, boy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, let me give you some more because y'all still not fully convinced. Praise Deuteronomy Lord. chapter 3, verse 22. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. 22. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus. To Jesus, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Verse 22. You must not fear them, for the Lord your God himself fights for you. You hear that? Yeah. We must not be afraid. Because he said, I didn't give you the spirit of fear, but I give you of sound mind and power. Fear did not come from God. Do not be afraid of the circumstances, the problems, the situation, that sickness, that disease. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of those, what they're saying about you. Don't be concerned about, but for the Lord, your God. I like that. You got to make it personalize it. Mm -hmm. The Lord, your God. Himself. Hallelujah. Himself. <laughs> he ain't sending nobody else. He's not sending Jesus. He's not sending no other angel. <laughs> the, but y'all never. Did say <laughs> well, I feel like running around right here. <laughs> Sister Linda, did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Himself. He's did, am I right. making this up? The Lord, your God. Uh, himself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Fights for you. Mm. Oh, Come on now, my goodness. What else does the guy got to tell you? Come on now. <laughs> so you see why it's so important for us to depend on Jesus, depend on God, and depend on his words? Yeah. Because we allow God to come and fight our battles That's for right. us. Amen. Woo! Oh, Why, my goodness, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Thank you, God. 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 Wow, I love that verse. <laughs> yes, thank you, God. Oh, my goodness, because I'm just going to reiterate that real quick. Um, yeah, because it says the Lord himself, he will come down. And that's not, it's it's not, you know, Jesus. Right. it's all capitalized. <laughs> uh -huh. The Lord, your God himself fights for you. Come on now. My goodness. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Woo. Wow, yeah. what an amazing service. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just remember that, you know, the battle is not yours, but it does belong to God. Come on now. And I wanted to highlight, you know, what Pastor had said earlier. He said, now this is a thing that we always do. And, you know, sometimes I do it too, um, is that we try to worry about things that, you know, are not even in our control. Mm -hmm. even in our control that that's not our business to you know 
fix things and to find things and everything like that. It says, you know, like I said before, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. Um, you know, and then there's another verse that says, um, I remember it's for, um, what is that story with the um, lady? She went to um, speak to Jesus. I believe she wanted like or her, her one of her child to be healed or her kid to be healed. And um, she, um, he said that, you know, he can't give, you know, um, bread to the dogs. Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, he called her a dog. <laughs> You know, and then so what she said in return is, you know, even, you know, the, the, um, the, the dogs eat the crumbs that come off of the master's table. My goodness. Jesus said, I have not found like, look look at this lady right here. Her faith is so strong. She didn't even worry about who she is. She didn't even worry about the circumstances. She didn't worry about that situation. She just pressed through. And even though that she knew she was not worthy of coming to Jesus and talking to him and asking him for this request, she went boldly anyways. And she went boldly to him and asked him and she she didn't know what his stance, but her response, it made Jesus like look at her and look at her in a different light. And like, you know what? She put all her trust in me. She didn't even care where she came from. She didn't even care what was going on. She still came boldly before me with all of her issues, with all of her problems. And Jesus blessed her. He was able to heal um, heal her child. And another story that I could think of is, you know, the woman that had the um, issues with blood 12 for years. 12 years. She went through all the doctors. I can imagine she went through all the doctors and no one had any word or anything for her, no healing powers, anything. I believe that, you know, she was seeking for help all those 12 years with this issue of blood. But she heard that Jesus was passing by she there was a multitude of crowds let me tell you multitude of crowds coming in yes. wanting jesus wanting you know touching jesus doing all these other things and everything she did not care because she put her trust in jesus and she knew that if she just touched the hem of his garment Hallelujah. that she Ooh. will be healed she pressed on she didn't worry about all those other people Anywhere because you know why? Because she put Jesus in that situation because she knew without a shadow of a doubt Mm. that Jesus was going to be able to heal her. My goodness, that when she touched Jesus, touched the hem of his garment, the hem of his garment is right there on the bottom. So I knew she was crawling. She was crawling, y'all, to get to Jesus. She touched the hem of his garment on the bottom and Jesus stopped what he was doing. He said, someone touch me. And everyone was like, what do you mean, Jesus? All these people here, everybody touching you and everything. What do you mean someone touch you? He said, no, someone touch me because the power of her faith he, she didn't even have to touch him personally. She didn't have to talk to him. Just touching the hem of his garment, he felt that power. He felt that power come off of him. And he was like, woman, you are healed. And in that moment, for she Hallelujah. was healed because she didn't worry about that circumstance. You know, she knew that Jesus was coming. She knew that, you know what, if I could just touch him, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be healed. Hallelujah. Y'all, there's something about giving everything to Jesus because that song said, through it all, I have learned to depend on the word of God. This is his love letter to us. All the instructions are here. Come on. Everything is here, but we just have to learn to trust in the Lord. Woo! I'm just excited. Praise I didn't know I was going to say all that, but Praise glory to God. <laughs> amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I don't know. It's just something about trusting the Lord in his word. Just having that assurance. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about things. Yes, we're human. Yes, we will, you know, sometimes, you know, but don't let that overwhelm you. Don't let that build anxiety over you. Don't let that fear come over you. Do not be afraid. Because you know what? Our assurance is with the Lord Jesus Christ. Our insurance with the God. Because we just read it. He will come down. The Lord God. That's the Father. 
You have a son. That's the father will come down and fight your battles for you. So whatever situation you're going through, people talking bad about you, family members are, you know, getting on you. Job is getting on you. You're going through school and, you know, professors, they're getting on you. If all this work and everything, you know, your body, your health is, don't be afraid. Through it all, I have learned to trust in Jesus. I have learned to trust in his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I'm done. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. When you get, when you get through with your teaching, I got something to tell you about how I trust God. Yeah, go ahead. We leave the floor. Minister Richards is going to oh. give her testimony. Feel free. Go ahead. Last week, Dr. Coleman saved me three. Uh, I want you to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. And I want so your heart can be checked. Mm. Most people worry about that, but I didn't worry about it. Amen. So you can heart now when, when, <laughs> when that tickle gets the part in your, it's, uh, it, it, you got to do something. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get word of it. I said, okay. So I told my son, and back he was going out there at the same time and didn't know I was supposed to go. Mm. So I asked him to take me. He said, well, mama, I told him. He said, I'm going out there. See how he said, I'm going on the first floor and you going on the second floor. So we was out there together. That's how God fixed it. Mm. So when I got up there, uh, I didn't worry. It was just like a doctor said, I my foot. Come on. Say your foot, say your foot. But when he said my heart, it didn't worry me one bit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So when I got in there, mm -hmm. he was real nice. He uh, told me how to dress. And he put them things up in my chest. Mm -hmm. He said, Miss Richardson. I said, yes, sir. He got a song. He said, I want to play for you while I'm checking your heart. Mm-hmm. He made a song. Yes, Jesus loved me. That was Hallelujah. the same thing. Oh, it was pretty. I said I know everything going to be all right. That's right. So when he got through with those things and took them out my chest, he said, Miss Rachel, i see you another year. Hmm. See how God did. Yeah, man. It was all right. That's I'll see right, you in another year. Jesus. Which means I'm doing fine. That's Amen. right. And and, 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 and and now I'm in my house. Sometimes I forget. One time my son come, I didn't even worry about it. I, I didn't get dressed, but I just didn't want to go outside. And he came in. He said, Mama, you left your key in the door. Mm. I didn't get worried a bit. Come on. Because I know God took care of me. That's right. Amen. And I know he's going to take care of me. And I don't worry one bit. Mm -hmm. when I, the doctor told me when I got out of the hospital, he said, Miss Richardson, he had this lady call me and say, go back to the hospital. So, well, I called my son. He, everybody was busy. So I just said, I ain't going. Hmm. And he had her to call me back. And say, Miss Richardson, why you, the doctor want to know why you didn't come back to the hospital. I said, I had no way. He sent the ambulance at me. Hmm. And they took me back to the hospital. I felt good. I didn't know what was happening. The minute I laid in the bed, the next day I couldn't even walk. Hmm. They had to help me to walk on the walker. And guess what? I wasn't worried one bit. Yeah. I just laid up there and let God take control. It Jesus. didn't worry me what this. Hallelujah. And I ain't been back since. Amen. But I give God the praise. Praise the Lord. When I'm sick, I'm just sick. And mm. most people would have got scared. Say, oh, what, what's going on? I didn't say that. Hmm. But when I left, when, they, when I stayed one week, mm -hmm. and when I left to show you that I know God was able. Amen. I put my clothes on, did something I wasn't supposed to do, I cleaned up the room, mm -hmm. did something I wasn't supposed to do, I pulled the cover off the bed, and the nurse come in and say, Miss Richards, 
Why did you do this? I say, well, I felt like it. That's right. <laughs> she said, you don't have to worry. That's, that's the, uh, the housekeeping job. I say, that's fine. Mm. But I'm able. That's and right. then one time for me to leave, I went to wait on my son. They had the chair to put me in. <laughs> I say, no, I'm going to walk. Mm. They say, Miss Rick, you don't, but we going to push you. I say, no, I'm going to walk. Mm-hmm. I ain't been back since. Amen. And I just put my life, I know I made it sick. And I just don't worry about what I'm going to leave this world. I just sleep good, I eat good, and I live good. Amen. I'm going to live good and happy because I know who my source is. That's Come right. And my source Amen. is Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And I ain't got Praise nothing to worry about. Praise the Lord. Oh, when that day comes, Hallelujah. It's just a day that I hope I, I hope I live good enough. So when Jesus come back to put us where we were gonna be put one day, I just hope. I don't know, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. Amen. And I've been trying all my life. When I was younger, I have to tell you the truth. I was wild, like everybody else, most. But one day. Mm. I got straight. That's right. It just came up on me. It wasn't nothing I thought about doing. I just did it. Mm-hmm. And I thank God I did it. Praise mm-hmm. the Lord. And me, me and, 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 and Susanne, we've been friends. Her husband was my pastor. Mm-hmm. And we've been friends every since. Praise God. And I thank God. Amen. 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 I don't have a lot of friends. I don't need a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. Now, when I pray, I ask God to bless my friends. Amen. And I bless my pastor. I say, Lord, and my so-called friends. Mm. I say, even bless them, and maybe one day they'll come to you. Yeah. That's the way I pray. And I want to always love. I don't care if, don't, I don't care if you don't love me. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with me loving you? Right. That oh, I just want to love everybody. Amen. And when you got that love, God will wait for you. Amen. So that's all I got to say. I Praise the God. Lord. Amen and amen. I just trust God. Trust in God. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just glad I'm with y'all. Praise amen. the Lord. I'm with y'all. I ain't never left y'all since how long it been? What, three years? It's been two years. Okay. Two years. I ain't never left y'all since. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because I enjoy it. I know Pastor B. Black. That's all. I amen. 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 amen, amen. And wow. so then, yeah, she my good friend. Yes. Amen. We always. Hallelujah. We always been real good friends. Yes, Lord. It's good to have it today, but one friend. Yes. God will lead you to the right place. Amen. 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 And I and the keep me from slipping and I don't have this friend. Nah, thank God I'm bringing my son this way. He talks more about Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. So, I love that. I enjoy this lesson today. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Amen. I don't Amen. Know where to go. Now, Amen. Pastor, I heard you say Jehovah. Didn't I hear you say that? Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Didn't I hear you say that? You heard me say Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. Now, when I preach, that's my next song. Yes. Uh-huh. Amen. That's my next song. What's his name? Amen. Mm-hmm. It's going to be my text. Amen. I'm preaching the whole... I say, Lord, look at that. We, we go behind one another and we don't know it. Mm-hmm. Yes. And try to be named a lot of things. I just don't say, but I be preaching to preach on it. <laughs> but I got a whole, almost a whole... Hallelujah. I don't know it. When you call me, that's what I was doing. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. That's what I'm going to be preaching on. My text is going to be, what's his name? Yes. His Hallelujah. name is Jehovah. I, Hallelujah. One lady, they, one lady heard me last week. The girl was going to come help me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said, Mr. Richie, what's that? She said, I heard you last week. And said, my daughter said, that mama knows she preached. And he said, who is that? He said, I don't know. And caught my voice. He said, that's Miss Richardson. <laughs> Amen. 
So she going to be listening at me. Praise the Lord. And, the, and a lot of, lot of, uh, lot of books you be preaching on. Mm-hmm. I don't say it, but I be finna preach on. Amen. So I'm looking at that. That's what I would do when you call me, Pastor Ben. Yes. I'm all right, be right. What's his name? Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Amen. I don't know if um Sister Linda, Brother Marlon, glad to see you. Had he had his birthday mm-hmm. on the eighth. Um oh, y'all Sister Isidore. No, it passed already. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so I don't know if um I don't, I don't know if um Yes, ma'am. We praying that that comes back. <laughs> I don't know if Sister um, Linda, Brother Marlon, or Sister Isidore have anything to share um, before we close it out with a song. Yeah. Uh, I can't hear them, but I, I'm going to be on the phone. Amen. Um, I just want to say that um, briefly that um, I enjoyed that word this morning, Pastor. It was, yeah. as always, it was a blessing to my soul. I, I, and um, I like, I particularly like that um, Deuteronomy 5 and 29, was it 29 and 30? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, at, no, I'm sorry. It was uh, Deuteronomy 1, 29 and 30. Amen. Yeah, how the Lord will fight for us. Come on now. And, um, and it, it just was, it just was a blessing to hear Hallelujah. how the Lord himself will fight for us. You can imagine um, at times in the scriptures, the Lord sent his word mm-hmm. and it did the work or the Lord sent Gabriel or somebody else, you know, mm-hmm. to do the word. But in this instance, they say the Lord himself will fight. Come on, come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody you got it. Imagine, you can imagine somebody sending uh, some featherweight boxer or heavyweight boxer or somebody this or that but the lord is greater than all of that hallelujah he is more powerful than all of that and when he fight for you you ain't got nothing to worry about come on now come on somebody got it (laughs) what is to worry about if if god is fighting for you you just let him do his work Come on, come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. That the victory is yours because you know God. Come on. It's a, it, it makes you feel reassured, comfortable, at peace mm-hmm. when you know God is fighting for you. All right. So I I, I enjoyed that word, Pastor. Woo. And I thank God for the understanding I got of it and the reassurance I got. Come on, yeah. come on. Now. Amen. It, it's blessed me. And I and I and I feel like uh I feel it makes you feel you know you're a child of God, but you know that you're somebody special for, to God when he come on. <laughs> so it brings a lot of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah. My God. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Well, no, I um, get that good and I can't get a rest. Oh, brother Marlon or sister Isidore, you have anything to share? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Um, I would just like to thank. No, you. I have nothing to share. Okay. Yes, Sister Isidore. Uh, I was just gonna say that I'd like to thank God for this week and helping you to have a safe trip up here and to get settled in. That's it. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, bless the Lord, oh, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. 
Just keep the family in prayer. Um, definitely an elder, you know, in the ministry. And he touched a lot of lives, um, helped a lot of people. So mm -hmm. this, um, this, um, this is the Callie's family. We want to lift them up in prayer. Uh, and then also, too, this week, um, there's the, we're, um, the nation, we're introducing a new president on mm -hmm. Wednesday. So we definitely need to pray for our country you know nothing crazy happened no rioting or anything like that yes any kind of you know they they do it in peace <laughs> yes amen nothing crazy so you know just pray for this week because um there's a lot of things that's going on um you uh -huh. know also pray for those you know that are upset because of everything that's going on, help them to have that peace of mind and that God will be able to give them that peace of mind, that reassurance Amen. that he is in control. Uh, you know, just continue to pray for, um, of course, um, Mr. Richardson, Sister Linda, Amen. Isabel, Brother Marlon, Sister Brittany, Sister Fabiola. She's at work right now. She told me she was unable to join in, but she is going to be watching, you know, the recast of it. Um, and, you know, just um, pray for everyone. You know? Amen. Uh, so we're just going to lift up our hands in prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All acts of you, fair touch your Lord Jesus. Thanks for you to come to us, dear Lord Jesus. Just your spirit to be upon us, dear Lord Jesus. Oh, we ask that you to touch your Lord. We ask that you to the Lord and his family, dear Lord Jesus. Touch your family, dear Lord, in this morning, dear Lord. Let your spirit to be upon them, dear Lord. Cover them, dear Lord Jesus. Cover them. Let your peace and assurance be surrounding them, dear Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I say, go through Sister this, dear Lord Jesus. All of those touch them, dear Lord. Neff, oh touch Lord, Sister God. Brother um, Malachi, Sister Linda, Brother dear Josh, Lord. God. Sister uh, Isidore, dear Lord. Sister, Sister West, Fabiola, God. dear Lord. Brother Brown, dear Lord. Sister Brittany, dear Lord. Minister Richardson, dear Lord. Our pastor, dear Lord. Brother Malachi, Brother Joshua, dear Lord. Touch them, dear Lord. Let go out this morning. Walk with them, God. They go into the good ground, God. They could be covered in fruit, God. Wherever they go, they shout a blessing in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, whatever you touch, you whatever to they touch, you know, on that solid rock, oh Lord, God, 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 God. God. So when the storm Jesus. comes, God, we not waver. Oh, oh that's your spirit. Praise, praise, God. God. praise and glory, and glory and to your praise. And thank you, Lord. All to you, Lord. Let that will to be done. Let the words that we hear this morning be in good ground, dear Lord. Let us thank you, Lord, for your presence. Foundation, Thank you, God, for having your way. Through it all, dear Lord, we have learned to trust in you. Thank you. We have learned to trust. Your word, 
He will fight our battles for us, dear Lord. Oh, we believe in We believe in trust in you. Hallelujah. 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 Guide us along this week. Touch the nation, dear Lord. Touch this country, dear Lord. Touch your Lord in the government, dear Lord. Touch him, dear Lord. As he goes through this week of transition. Let your spirit to surround all those, say, Lord. Let them have peace in their hearts, dear Lord Jesus. Cover them, dear Lord. Your spirit to be a Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed rest of the day. Blessed rest of the week. We meet up Thursday at 6, Bible study. Everybody be blessed. You know, we love you. Yes. Continue to pray for you. And let God lead and guide you. Be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Praise be to your name. Praise the Amen. Lord. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. God bless y'all. God bless. God bless. God bless.